On Tuesday, August 23rd, 2022, Anya and Kevin Greenlee from the Murder Sheet podcast received a tip that the Wabash River in Peru was being searched and it could be connected to the Delphi murder case. They reported on it and speculation swirled online as to whether there was a break in the case. Members of their Murder Sheet Discussion Facebook group wondered what could be happening in Peru. A member named Ashley shared her observations about another search that she witnessed happening on Thursday, August 25th, but that search was in Delphi. I had a conversation with her there and she told me what she had witnessed. She stated that she saw seven to eight white Ford Explorers in the parking area and seven to eight guys in the water doing the same thing they were doing at the river search in Peru. This was on the Tippin Canoe River under the bridge near Springboro Road on Highway 18 heading into Delphi. She told me that she knew they were, they were law enforcement because of the vehicles that they drove. Ashley and another woman I know went back the next day and they were no longer there. I always wondered if the Delphi River search could have been connected to the case. Not long after Richard Allen was arrested, some rumors swirled online regarding the possibility that his wife had found Abby's phone in their shed at 1967 Whiteman Drive and turned it on. While I don't know if this is true, I do think it's possible that law enforcement did actually discover something in that Delphi River search. When reviewing this information again recently, I noted that Horizon Vet is only two miles from the location that was being searched that day in Delphi. Kathy Allen worked at Horizon, and my speculation is that it's possible that if she did find Abby's phone, she may have disposed of it by throwing it over the bridge near Springboro. To be very clear, this is a working theory that I have, and I do think that if Abby's phone was turned on, that geolocation data would have enabled the authorities to pinpoint the location it was disposed of, and they would not have had to search for very long to find it. I also think it's possible that they searched other locations in Delphi, including the Wabash, if they were looking for other items, or even Abby's phone. It has long been speculated that animal hair was recovered in this case, and that persons of interest, dogs and horses, have been examined. I did note that Horizon Vet appears to have horses located in the fields beside their office, and while I don't know if those horses are cared for by the vet, I do know that Kathy is an animal lover, so it has me wondering if they did recover horse hair, if perhaps it came from those horses. These are just some of my random thoughts to go along with sharing what I know about the relatively unknown other river search in Delphi. I was told that the media arrived to the Delphi river search too late to cover it, so I hope you find this information as interesting as I do. Thank you for watching.